We've been working with Ivetion for the last two and a half years, closely with the Lighting Industry Association and a company called Lightonics who invented the technology. Ivetion simply is a safety lamp for your home that stays on when the power has gone. In terms of a product, it's very smart. It reads the impedance on a circuit and actually understands that the power has gone so you can switch it on and off as a normal lamp. During the development of Ivetion, we found that the capability of powering luminaire with batteries was something quite special and also the technology which reads the frequency of the grid. So I thought of this extra idea that we could do in the Ivetion because we've got a battery there what if when the national grid was struggling for power we switched to use that battery to power the lamp instead of drawing power from the grid? How could we control that? If we measured the grid frequency we'd actually have a, a real-time indication of whether the grid was struggling or whether the grid was in surplus of power such as it's a sunny day, people aren't uh, having their heating on or their air conditioning and the wind's blowing and everything's great, we've got lots of low carbon power. We could use that to charge the battery. The moment that, let's say it's FA Cup final and it's half time and everyone goes and puts their kettle on, we need so much power as a country, there's a massive spike, a massive peak. Well, that's the time that lighting products could switch to a battery. What's cool about that is you've got the carbon reduction, you've got the revenue, and you've got a product that means any LED luminaire can stay on when the power's gone. The key situation for any customer is supply and demand. You can affect the price of supply by getting the correct contract, by doing the right price. That's where we can help this product. However, what we can do now on the demand side is even better. By turning the lights off in power supply, but leaving the light on in the building allows you to have a demand switch. So at the peak point of the day when the electricity is high, you could turn the power off and leave the light on. You can reduce demand and save on your bill. The other aspect associated with it is collectively, you can then have the ability to help infrastructure such as the national grid. Because the time of high priced electricity in the day is when the grid is in the most strain. We believe it's the only product on the market will actually earn a revenue for our clients. So the LIA helped to bring two of its members together, Lightonics and Ivety, and what's developed out of that is a technology which has huge implications for saving energy in the UK and reducing, in particular, peak demand of electricity at times when it's both carbon intensive and very expensive. So it plugs very nicely into the strategy plan that the Industry Association has with the UK government.